Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have my Aldi haul for you. You can hear my water boiling, I'm making some iced tea. Um, but I'll show you what I got, and let's just take a look at this. What? I am so excited to try this, but I'm gonna wait till September. Maple bacon coffee. What the what? And they also had bourbon flavored. So I got some coffee that was $3.79. I think this was $3.29. For, that's for my work. I got some pepper jack sliced cheese, some eggs. We're going to try some Parmesan um, and Romano this week. Some banana pepper rings. From, these are for my lunch. Pork rinds for that for lunch and just snacking. I stopped at my farm stand and got a fresh onion. That was $0.57. Cents. I have some breakfast sausage. I'm gonna make breakfast sandwiches. Um, I grabbed some turkey lunch or ham just to have for dinners and snack on. Um, some cream, some Gouda cheese, and spinach. So what I'm making for my lunch is hamburgers. And I'm going to make some bagel bread for a bun. And then for breakfast, I'm making chaffle sandwiches. So chaffles is egg and cheese, and I'll show you how I do it, with a sausage and fried egg. And that'll be breakfast and lunch for the week. So we will bring you along during the cooking process. All right, everybody, we are gonna start our breakfast for the week. And what I'm going to be making is a chaffle sandwich. Yes, you heard that right, chaffle. C-H-A-F-F-E-L is a chaffle. And what that is, let me move this around. I already have one wound on my arm from my chaffle maker the other day. But chaffle is a keto version of like a, a savory waffle, although you can make them sweet. Um, my recipe, and there's hundreds of them out there, the ones that I use is one egg to a half a cup of cheddar cheese. And that is it. So what I'm gonna do real quick while I'm talking is just mix up these eggs. I'm going to make enough chaffles. So 10 individual waffles. We'll make five sandwiches for the week. And this is for breakfast. You can get a whisk out, but I just love this thing. I bought this at the Dollar Tree of all places. Now, normally, if I'm only making enough for two chaffles, I don't worry about whipping up the eggs, but there's a lot of egg in here, and there's going to be a lot of cheese. So the egg is clean. Is clean. Yes, the egg is clean. Is whipped up. This is um, two and a half cups of cheddar cheese. I'm going to fold into these egg whites, or these eggs themselves. Um, you can add some seasoning if you'd like, but I'm using some sausage, and the sausage is very heavily spiced, so I'm not going to worry. Um, some recipes call for almond flour. Just It's a consistency thing, and it's up to you how you want to do it. I would say Google Chaffle or look on Pinterest. They're all the rage, apparently, in the keto world right now because it's just an option to make a sandwich. And this week I'm doing the chaffles. I may be making uh, hamburgers, and if I decide to, I'll make a bun for it. I'll show you. But that's it. I mixed up cheese and egg. The more cheese, you know, the obviously the thicker it's going to be. But that's enough for me. I like this consistency. Now. I have my, let me move this over here, my heated up waffle maker. I don't need to put, to spray this with this mixture. You may need to, so you're gonna wanna test that out. So what I do is it's like two of these spoons of egg and cheese right in the middle. It does get a little messy. And then I just kind of push it out so it's all the way in. Turn it on and let it go. And I'm going to tell you, I have no idea how long it takes, but a good couple minutes. You really want them to cook through and crunch up that cheese so that it holds the consistency of bread. So I'm going to let these cook. And once I get a few done, I'll show you what they look like. 
Um, I had them this week for breakfast with some salami, and they were good. And I decided I'm going to make egg sandwiches this week. Not with a fried egg, because there's egg in here. I'm just going to make a sausage sandwich. So I'm going to form some sausage patties and get those frying while my chaffle is chaffling. Yes, so I'll show you. Right now, that's just like a cheese omelet, but we're going way past that. We're going to bread. I'll show you when it's done. Got the sausages going in the background, and I'm getting ready to pull one of them out. I hope you can hear this. It's crunchy. Let me clean that up a little bit. I had a little overspill. But this is really crisp and ouch, hot. Put it on the cooler. Got a cooling rack over there, and then we're going to start the next one. I don't need as much as I was putting in there. Just because I don't want it to like overflow on me. Let's see, maybe a tad bit more. There we go. Close it up and it cooks away. And that's it. I just keep going until I have it all done. Alrighty, I have all my lunch ready. Uh, what I decided to do is just do the chaffles for the bottom. So that's a lot of dough for me to eat from a meal. So this is a chaffle with a hamburger and onion. I'll put some spinach on top. And then some mayonnaise with that. So my hamburger. I have some carrots and some homemade ranch that I use sour cream and my ranch blend. And I do have a video on that. So I just have in my little Wonder Woman cup some ranch. And that can go on any of this, to be honest with you. And then breakfast is a breakfast sausage with a chaffle. Um, I don't need cheese because the waffles are made with cheese and egg. So this is it. I'll bring some mustard for my chaff or for my breakfast. But that's my lunches for the week. I hope these videos are helpful. If you'd like them, please hit the subscribe button and come back for more. All right, everybody, you have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.